is my wife, Trudy. And what's your name again, young man? <laughs> you can call me Sugar Mom. All right, that is a clip from the reboot of The Proud Family. They are back, the beloved animated Disney show that aired in the early 2000s. Last week, we chatted with Kyla Pratt, who plays Penny Proud. Ellen also talked to her show parents, native Washingtonian Tommy Davidson and Paula J. Parker, who also has her own ties to D.C. So the Proud family is reuniting. You guys are back together. Um, with the original series having aired, what, 2001 to 2005, what's it like this time around? I feel like the world has changed, especially when we are looking at black uh, experiences and families and how they're represented on TV. Well, for me, it's a blast. It's a lot better for me. Um, not that I didn't enjoy the first time around. I really did enjoy it, but I didn't appreciate it. I'm a mommy now. So back then, I was just pretending to be a mommy and gleaning all the experience that Tommy and Miss Jo Marie and Kyla's real mom could give me. So now that I am a mom, it's so much more better. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a lot better because I appreciate the experience. I get it now, and I'm so excited for my son to see. And absolutely worth the wait. You know, and, and we, we, we sort of waited it out, too. Because really? we knew the quality. Oh, yeah, we knew the quality of what we did. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's the gift that just keeps on giving. You know, it's on YouTube. And then, you know, college students would, 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 would um, put on my Facebook. Their Halloween costumes would be like the blue bully girls. And, and all of people were doing plays. So it was alive. But now to, to, to really have it materialized and be working on it again is really exciting, especially in these times. Do you think, um, so I grew up with this show, right? And Paula, like you, now I'm a mom, so I can't wait to see it through this different lens that I, I see the world through now. Um, do you think it's still gonna resonate with all audiences? Is it, there's a little bit of something for everyone, even if it was us when we were young yeah. watching it, we're gonna get it now. It is. Um, I enjoyed it as an adult, you know, even when I didn't have children, because a lot of the jokes go over the baby's heads, but <laughs> we got, we got that. It's going to be the same way now. You're going to be able to see, even if you binge and go back and watch the old ones, which are now premiering on Disney Plus to get everyone ready for this new season, you will get a lot more of the jokes than you did when you were a baby and saw it the first for the first time. So this time around, it's the same exact way. There are going to be things that your children will get and understand things that will spark conversations in the household. And that's what a good show does. It makes you laugh, it makes you cry, and it, it creates conversation. And there's some things that are introduced to our kids before they're introduced to us. Right. You know what I mean? Like TikTok and, and all the stuff that's happening on social media. You know, all those things are introduced to them without us hardly knowing. They got right. those phones in their hand and that's the phone culture. Then there's some artists that I'm not familiar with, but I used to know all of that stuff, but Nas X, I didn't know about Nas X. Yeah. You know, until I, I saw the video and I was like, wow, who is this guy? He's doing all this crazy stuff, all this beautiful, crazy stuff. And, and lo and behold, our writers and our producers are hip enough to get those type of stars on our show, just like we had the stars from the last pass. But let's talk about how we've grown as artists as well. You know, our producer, executive producer Bruce Smith now has an Oscar, an Academy Award for um, his, his production in animation. So, you know, they no one has stopped the train. We've all um, got, moved forward as artists, as individuals. Kyla has two kids now, yeah. you know, so you never right. know, because her voice has not changed. Just <laughs> and and, and is, it also is beautiful. And don't forget, I have an Academy Award of my wildest dreams. So go ahead. <laughs> um, I know before we uh, head out, I want to ask you about Washington D.C. real fast. Tommy, you're from you're from here. Do you get back often? And like, what do you have to do when you you get back to your hometown? Oh man, the last time I was back there, I sold out seven shows. Wow. Through the rafter, everybody comes to my shows from my old neighborhood. I see people I haven't seen in years. They always come over. You know, Washington, D.C. is a very, very close-knit city, and it's changed a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, but one thing hasn't changed is that that community thing is still really strong. Really strong. Yeah.
Paula, you also, I mean, I'm from Ohio as well and then came I, here. So I, I felt a connection with you. <laughs> Do you get back to Howard? I've, I've gone back. They've invited me um, to come back and speak to the younger generation. So that was very, very exciting. I, and, and that's the last time I've been back is when Howard reached out and brought me. And then they gave me a chair in Ira Aldridge Theater with my name on it. Oh, so wow. that's pretty, very yeah. Oh, so exciting. You can catch the two episode premiere on February 23rd, Wednesday on Disney Plus.